Uh, welcome, gentlemen, to both of you. Steve, let me start with you. As you speak to and poll CEOs across the country, uh, what are they most worried about in 2024? And is it geopolitical tension or the war in the Middle East or Ukraine or something completely different? Yeah, it's all of the above, Tyler. And remember, a year ago, we had over 90 percent of CEOs telling the conference board that they expected a, re a recession within the year. That didn't happen. But now they're worried about a slowdown and what that means for the health and the growth of their company. Inflation and higher labor costs are the you know, remnants of what's happened over the last several years. And they're really wrestling with that because there's still a labor shortage, a very unique situation. The global instability that you mentioned on top of it, Ukraine, the Middle East, and now even China and the Taiwan situation because of huge implications for chips and huge implications for supply chain are weighing on CEOs uh, as well. And when we ask CEOs, less than 30 percent say that their company is ready either for a slowdown or to deal with the after effects of inflation. So the things that they are focused on is growth again. It's the thing that they think that uh, they've got to grow their way out of it. They can't simply cut costs this time. And so new products and markets, innovation, technology, including all of the impact of AI. And then finally, trying to get more out of their workforce through workforce through upskilling and through retraining. So those are the focus areas for CEOs. So they've gotten over the idea of a, of a full-blown recession for 2024, but they do see a possible, what, slowdown? Is that what, what, they, what is on the yeah. horizon for them? Yeah, you still have about a third of CEOs saying that there's going to be a, a short, mild recession, but I think the majority of CEOs are now saying, okay, it's just going to be slower. Either way, whether it actually goes negative or mm -hmm. whether it's just slower, They've got to do something different, Tyler, and this is where they've got to focus on growth again. Mm -hmm. Dean, that's an interesting point because it's, you know, I don't know if you've got growth strategies for them or if, uh, you know, in the meantime, there's also some ways they need to think about communicating with employees, getting off to the right start there. Yes, absolutely. I think, you know, Trotsky famously said that uh, war is the locomotive of industry, hmm. but for brands, it's often a train wreck. And we've got kind of wars across three fronts. I call them the holy trinity of brands that should never be crossed. That's religion, sex and politics. And we've got all three hot potatoes right now affecting companies across all fronts. And so to Steve's point that 30 percent uh, of CEOs are saying they're not planned for a slowdown. Well, are they planned for crisis? And that's the critical need here. Dean, are can, you I, can I just crisis? ask you about that? Those three areas that you said um, should, you know, companies should stay away from. We have seen a lot of discussion uh, in, in kind of the political realm in recent years. Do you think that we should expect less of that going forward now? I think, it, you know, you should try to be uh, 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 as little as possible kind of veer into those fields because they are dangerous fields to be in. So what is the, the, the stand of the brand? And I think that's the important thing here is that we've got major companies that have spent millions of dollars on perfecting their brands. But that's the issue. They're packed for perfect, but they're not packed for bad. And what we're confronting here is one Steve's point of potential slowdowns in the market, but also a rampage of issues of very socially sensitive issues affecting millions of consumers in terms of what's on their mind's eye right now. So it's all about pre-planning and taking a preemptive position on it. And the beautiful thing here, although bad for Anheuser-Busch, is that a lot of companies have been given a reduced learning curve based on that debacle with Mulvaney and Bud Light. So I'm hoping that many companies have sat together in offices with curly sandwiches and discuss their crisis management for those three areas, religion, sex and politics that are affecting them right across the board.